get ready with me so I've done my tan my makeup I've done my outfit as well and the makeup is just this really pretty dewy a little bit of glitter on the eyelid it's super super pretty super dewy and natural natural so if you guys are interested in getting ready with me then please just keep on watching Alrighty, getting started. I'm first going to tan to give myself that nice um, tanned body without the skin cancer. And I'm using the Loving Tan Mousse. Um, this is the shade Dark, the two hour express one, but I sleep with it on. I love this one because it looks super natural. It's easy to apply because it has a color guide. Um, it lasts up to 10 days, which is amazing, and it's waterproof once it's fully developed. Not to mention, you can have a little dance party in your favorite shirt straight after because it dries almost immediately. So get in your comfy PJs and go to bed, and you don't have to worry about, like, feeling sticky or anything like that. Ugh. Oh what am I doing <laughs> um so now I'm starting off with my eyebrows I have an eyebrow routine so I will link that down below I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video um but I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills a brow definer in the shade ebony which is like my holy grail of holy grails for my eyebrows and then I'm moving on and priming my eyes I always 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 use a concealer to prime my eyes I'm using the urban decay naked skin concealer in the shade medium light neutral I just feel like concealer like cancels out any discoloration it gets rid of any veins you have it also holds really really well and then I'm gonna set that with the elf um, high definition under eye setting powder because um, that way your concealer is not gonna crease and it's also gonna make sure everything bends smoothly on the top and I'm starting off with eyeshadow today by not using an eyeshadow <laughs> um, Bo tried to jump on me and he, he wanted to lick me. His intentions were good, but he created a scar that makeup isn't covering. <laughs> anyway, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit. I think it's the shade Havana. I don't know. It's like the darkest one. And I'm blending that and smoking that all in my crease. And then I'm deepening it a little bit with um, Sienna, also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this one's actually an eyeshadow. <laughs> Now I'm just going in with Amber. This is an eyeshadow also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm not going to pack this on like a too intensely because um, the star of the show is coming right up. And I'm using a glitter, like a pressed glitter I guess it is, eyeshadow type thing from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Space Cowboy. The thing I love about this is it makes your eye look like kind of look wet and like glossy. It's really, really awesome. I love the finish. And I also just sprayed a little bit of the NYX. Oh my god, why am I the way that I am? <laughs> um, but but I'm also using a little bit of the NYX Dewy Setting Spray to just intensify a little bit. And then I'm going on with even more glitter. This one is from Lit Cosmetics in the shade Beach Baby. I'm not using any glitter primer, nothing, because I want it to be super spaced out. I don't want any density or clumps in this at all. It's always a good idea to do your eyeshadow before doing your face when you get glitter, um, when you're doing glitter on your eyes because glitter just gets everywhere, like I swear. Um, so I'm just wiping it away with a makeup wipe and then I'm going in with my primer. I'm using the Backlight Priming Filter from Becca to give myself, my skin, a nice radiant glow under the foundation. And then to make sure the foundation is, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my god, Bella, what on earth? Anyway, <laughs> um, to make sure my foundation's nice and luminous, I'm mixing it with a liquid illuminator from Josie Marin, Maran, um, and I'm using the Kogano Aqua Luminous Foundation in the shade 143, just mixing them together on the back of my hand and then um, stippling everything in with a beauty blender. And going back in with concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, again in medium light neutral. I'm just going to pop this on any blemishes that I have um, down the bridge of my nose, under my eyes. I also have this like weird discoloration which always stays red like right under my nostrils or something so I always apply it there. And you know the drill with the rest of the concealer, we're just going to blend it in. And yeah, then today I'm baking. Like, 
I never bake, but <laughs> I have been lately. And we're baking today because we want everything to stay nice and bright and not creasy throughout our day. We want to stay looking sharp. So that's what we're doing. And we also don't want to get oily. We don't want our makeup to smudge or anything. So we're also going to set the rest of our face with a translucent powder from The Balm. This one is Sexy Mama, just like me and you. <laughs> So now we're going to add a little bit of colour back into our face and I'm using the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer with a 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. This bronzer is so perfect for this look because it's not completely matte, it is just like the most amazing bronzer in the whole wide world and this brush is the most amazing brush in the whole wide world. <laughs> that'd be funny i was just like making the sound effects for me swooshing off the bake on my under eyes anyway moving on from that um i'm going to be contouring with the makeup geek contour powders in cool and warm fair and i'm just using a 128 brush i believe it is from zoeva which is like my favorite contouring brush and i'm going to contour my cheekbones my jaw and also my nose which i have a nose contouring routine so i'll put that in the description i'm not going to bore you guys by watching it in every video um and then i'm also going to blush my cheeks with a bronzy brush blah, 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 bronzy blush this is um what is it it's from milani i know that and i think it's called bellissimo bronze oh i did contour my nose in the video i didn't go into too much detail though <laughs> so my nose contour routine will be down below for you guys Okay, this is by far, hands down, my favorite part of my whole makeup routine. I'm taking the Australis um, Banana Powder and I just sharpen up my nose contour, my cheekbone contour. I also brighten up my bridge of my nose, my forehead, um, under my eyes, and I blend in all of the blush and make it look super seamless. It just makes everything look so put together and finished, and I just love this part of my makeup. And Oh, hiccup <laughs> and then I'm also going to be taking I don't quite remember the name of this it will be listed in the description box it is a full spectrum eyeliner from makeup geek though and I'm just applying this into my waterline and then I'm going to be going back to my under eyes and I'm just applying the contour shade once again from Anastasia um, and just smoking that out not too much just a little bit and then I'm applying some mascara this is from Bare Minerals and I will have to double check the name it's just a little sample I got in like my beauty loop box from Mecca now I'm using Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and this is the best inner corner highlight in my whole life it is the most pigmented thing I have ever 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 used nothing else compares to this nothing else is as pigmented and bright and oh, I love it so much. You guys have to try Shimmer Shimmer if you haven't. And of course we have to add a bit of highlighter. What do you mean? Uh, this one is the Merry Luminizer by The Balm. And I'm just applying this to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, everywhere. My whole face. I'm just, I'm just going in with the highlighter. But what's new <laughs> anyway um so today for lips i'm using cookie this is just a lippy stick from colourpop and then i'm going over that with gilded lip gloss from anastasia and i'm also going to add a little bit of that merry luminizer onto my lips um just in the middle area with my finger just to make them look super i don't even know it just looks nice <laughs> And we want to stay flawless all night, so I'm just using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray on my face so that we stay looking gorgeous. Now I'm going in with the Bronze Shimmer in Dark from Loving Tan. This is like a luminous cream. It enhances your skin and makes it look airbrushed and super glowy. It also deepens up your tan. I used a mitt at first and then I was like, wait, how is this going to work with the top that I'm wearing? And then I went in with a brush. 
but this is so amazing it dries really quickly which is why I could apply it over my clothes and not have to worry about it like staining my clothes or anything and it is a buildable color and it is so so pigmented and beautiful it just makes me look so glowy and it looks amazing in flash photography because you have these like little particles in it that just like reflect black <laughs> reflect reflect back <laughs> oh my lord but it is seriously the most beautiful thing ever and then of course i'm just so <laughs> it was so hard doing that and then i ended up doing like a little dance like uh uh you go girl you go girl anyway of course i'm extra i had to apply a little bit of highlighter to make it even more intense just using the mary luminizer from the balm again and applying this on my shoulders and also my collarbones So I just decided to show you guys my little outfits. So the top is from Kukai. The pants are from na-kdnaked.com. And the shoes, I'm totally stumped as to where they are from right now. But I will link them or like say the name of the company down in the description for you guys to check out. And whoopow, we're out. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!